Salut Denzel. Happy New Year to you and welcome to another wonderful year of French classes. And of course, we hope fully well that the good attitude which you left on or which you continue from in the last lesson will be carried on right into the new year. And of course, we are back again with our regular French lessons where we'll be meeting this Sunday for our first live session of the year. So we are certainly going to have a lot to do and uh, the material this time around are going to change a little, which means we are going to make the lessons more intense because we really want you, of course, to get your level up. So far you're doing good, but of course we want to put, make it a little bit um, intense. That's to help you learn even faster. And how are we going to do this? We're going to make it in such a way that after about three months into the lesson, we're going to give you a short quiz. That's a short test related to all the materials which we've learned in those past three months. And of course, we're going to do that as a follow-up to make sure that you always review what is being done and that is going to help you learn even much faster. So this Sunday, we are going to do a quick review of all what was done in our last lessons that was in the course of the November and December lessons where we started uh, with your class textbook which we have right here. We're going to do a quick revision of all what was done from page 1 to 21 because after that we are certainly going to start a new topic we should be looking at how to call shapes in French. And we're going to link that lesson to looking at how to call colors in French, which is a lesson we've already done. So that colors is just going to be more of a revision to you. Now, let's have a look at how we call some very important shapes in French. And of course, we are not going to look at all shapes. We're going to look at the most important, which of course you are expected to learn at this level. So the first shape we'll be looking at is how to call a circle. And how do you call a circle in French? It's simple. Un cercle. Again. Un cercle. Good. Next is a square. How do you call a square in French? It's simple. You say un carré. Un carré. After un carré, we have un triangle. You obviously noticed that we've already done this. This was what we did in the last lesson. We're just trying to quickly review it so that we merge it, of course, with the lesson on colors. So a triangle is un triangle, which you can see here, followed by an oval shape, which is, of course, the shape of an egg. You see, oval, oval, good. And then we have a rectangle, which is Un rectangle, again, un rectangle, great. So now we are going to look, of course, at some different colors, which is going to be used. These colors, of course, are going to be used for your life activity, which means we are going to ask you to color some of these shapes. And it's very important that you know what color to color each of the shapes. Now you already know the different shapes. You also now learn the different colors. So that what we give you instructions. Print each color on the line or print each color on the rectangle. Print the red color on the triangle. Print the blue color on the circle. You know exactly what to do. Of course, the instructions are going to be in French. Now, we have the first color. Let's take you below here. We have the first color here, which is the red color. And of course, you already know the red color in French is what? Rouge again, rouge perfect. Let's move on to the blue color. How do you call the blue color? Blue again, blue very good. The next color is green. And how do you call the green color? You say there again, there. And the next color is the yellow color, which is jaune. John, followed by an orange, that's the orange color, which is orange. 
Orange. Très bien. That's good. Now, we move on to the brown color, which is brown. Brown. Perfect. Next, we have the violet color, which is violet. Violet. Good. And then next is la couleur rose. Can you guess what la couleur rose is in English? Good. The pink color. So how do you call pink in French? Rose. Rose. Great. And then the next color is black. The black color in French is noir. Noir. Très bien. Followed by the white color, which in French is blanc. Blanc. And finally, the gray color, which is gris. Again, gris. Very good. You were amazing. Now let's wrap it up again by repronouncing these different colors again just to make sure that you are able to perfectly pronounce them. So are you ready? Let's go. Let's start with the first. How do you read this color? Rouge. Très bien. Remember the lesson is les couleurs. Les couleurs, which means what? Colors. So the first color again is rouge. Yes. How do you read this color? Bleu. Well done. And the next color? Vert. Amazing. Next color? Jaune. Excellent. Which is of course the yellow. Next. Orange, very good. Orange, the orange color. Of course, I love orange fruits quite a lot. Next number, next color is brown. Very good. Brown, which you said is a brown, followed by violet. Yes, violet is for violet. That's that's wonderful. You're doing great. Next is. Rose, très bien. Rose, of course, is always the favorite colors for most girls. Rose is pink. And the next is noir. Noir, wonderful. And noir, of course, is what? Black. And then we have, how do you read this one? Blanc, wonderful. Blanc is obviously for the white color, so blanc is white. And then finally, we have this color. How do you read it? Gris. Très bien. Gris is for the gray color. So those are the most important colors which you are supposed to know at this level. So in that next lesson, of course, we're going to again merge how to read the shapes, how to identify different shapes in French. And of course, we're going to give you a task to color those shapes with the colors which you just learned right now. And that will be compensated, of course, by a video which you're going to learn at the end to help you understand even further looking at the materials physically. So that'll be it for today. And of course, I can't wait for Sunday to be here so we can start with our first life lesson. And for now, it's time to tell you au revoir, à bientôt. Bonne année. Happy New Year to you. Au revoir.